Hi, I'm Raj Venkatesan. I'm a faculty at the Darden Business School, and I'm going to talk today about how to do cluster analysis. Cluster analysis is a popular technique that uh, is used for market segmentation, and you can uh, learn more about cluster analysis uh, in my uh, tech note uh, that is available through Darden Business Publishing called uh, Cluster Analysis for Market Segmentation. Um, and you can also find information about this in my book on cutting edge marketing analytics. Uh, there is a chapter on cluster analysis. What we are going to see today is how to uh, implement this uh, cluster analysis in Excel. Uh, we are going to use a technique called k-means clustering, um, which is very popular in the market research field. And we're going to use data from the case study Sticks Kebab Shop, which is also available through Darden Business Publishing and also in the book Cutting Edge Marketing Analytics. Um, so the situation is that Sticks Kebab Shop has sent a survey to its customers and non-customers on their preferences for fast food chains and also some questions about their attitudes towards health food, towards purchasing products locally, and how they plan things in terms of their day-to-day uh, -day activities and also their spending. So the questions that uh, we are going to look uh, to segment customers and non-customers of Sticks Kebab Shop is on these uh, four questions that were asked in the survey. Uh, the four questions were, uh, let me zoom it in here so it's easier to see. I think this is good. The questions are, I tend to plan things very carefully. I sometimes have trouble controlling my spending. I think it is important to purchase products that are made locally. I carefully consider the health benefits of what I eat. And this was part of a survey that was sent to Sticks Kebab Shops customers and non-customers. A one on a response of one on this quest on these questions means people tend to agree very strongly with the statement that they plan things very carefully. A response of four on the other hand means that people do not agree strongly with this statement, that they disagree strongly. So in this case, we say, I sometimes have trouble controlling my spending. Um, this customer disagrees strongly with that statement. So what we are trying to do is segment customers based on their responses to these four questions. I tend to plan things carefully. I sometimes have trouble controlling my spending. I think it is important to purchase products locally. And I carefully consider the health benefits of what I eat. So to do this, the way you would do cluster analysis is uh, the software that we are using is called Excel Stat. Uh, it is uh, Excel-based add-on software that you can uh, purchase from this company, Excel Stat. And once you install it in Excel, you will see this menu that comes up. So uh, when you open Excel in general, you'll have this kind of menu. You go and uh, tap on the Excel Stat tab, and it opens up all these options. The option we will use for cluster analysis is called analyzing data. And if you scroll down here, you see k-means clustering. And when you open this 
uh, click on k-means clustering, it shows this dialog box. And the first thing you want to do is select the observations or the questions that you want to cluster on. So you tap here, we want to select these four questions. So we go up here and then you select all the customers in there, in the data. So we have about 395 customers and non-customers. We've selected them and we selected the four questions in column C, D, E, and F. And you should remember to select only the questions and not select the customer number uh, that is there. And then we don't want to assign any weights for columns. Um, the next thing you want to look at is what k-means clustering allows us to do is try different uh, cluster means. So the k in k-means clustering represents the number of means or number of segments you want to try in the data. So we can here specify that you want the software to try segmentation with two segments and let's say we want it to try until seven. And then in options, we say that we want to cluster rows because customers are rows in our data. So observe column A, which says observation is actually each uh, row or observation is a customer or survey respondent in our data. Then we don't want missing data. In terms of output, um, for this purpose, let's say we want to select only results, descriptive statistics, optimization summary, results by class, and results by object. And in charts, we can select these two. So we click OK. And it says that uh, we are clustering 395 rows. Those are the respondents of the survey that includes customers and non-customers and we are segmenting four columns or four variables we hit continue and we say okay to this message and if you see this is the output that cluster excel stat gives for k means clustering These are the questions that were clustered. And if you scroll down, you see that it gives the Excel stat gives you the output for within class and between class variance. And as described in the chapter on cluster analysis, what you want to see is an elbow plot where you see that the within over between class variance uh, decreases over time. So here's the output that Excel stat gives you from the k-means clustering. So here are the four questions. I tend to plan things very carefully. I sometimes have trouble controlling my spending. I think it is important to purchase products that are made locally. I carefully consider the health benefits of what I eat. And then what you get are also the within class variance and the between class variance for each of the iterations of the k-means clustering. So what we have here what it calls as variance per classes. These are the classes or the number of segments that we have uh, run the cluster analysis on. So we ask the cluster analysis to run the segmentation for uh, allowing two segments until seven. So we have two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the within class variance for 
when you use two segments is 1.623 and the between class variance when you use two segments is 0.684. So what we need is to create what is called the elbow plot from this information. So we will copy this information onto a new sheet. And paste it over here. Let's create a new row called number segments and another row called within versus between. So the segments go from 2 until 7. And you want to look at the ratio of within variance over between variance. And what you can do is create a chart. Let's have dot so we know. And you can see in this chart that there is some sort of an elbow here at six segments. So in this data it seems like six segments is where adding another segment doesn't add much information to the data. So we have settled in based on the elbow plot that you want six segments. So based on that what we need to do is go back to the data to Excel stat again, analyzing data, K means clustering. We don't change much, but what we want to do is rerun this analysis using six segments. Press OK, continue, and you get a new set of outputs, which is based on six segments and what you want is results by class and if you see in results by class it gives you the number of observations per segment. So segment 1 has 76, segment 2 has 83, respondents, segment 3 has 97 respondents, 4 has 62, 5 has 40, 6 has 37. So by far segment 3 is the biggest segment and it also gives you within each segment which observations or respondents belong to each segment. So in this case for segment 1 the respondents that belong to that segment are 1, 2, 6, 8, 13, 14, and so forth. Okay, and then it also gives you results by object. So for each observation, you know which segment the respondent belongs to. So we know observation 1 respondent belongs to segment 1. So if you go Observation 59 respondent belongs to segment 3, 131 belongs to 4, 182 belongs to 5, 183 belongs to 6 and so forth. So I find this output useful because what I can then do is select the segment membership for each observation and then go back to our data and I can just paste that right next to the questions and call name this as segment number. 
So what this allows us to do is take this observation belongs to which segment and then now for each respondent you've assigned their segment. Then the survey if it contains other demographic profiles like age, income, gender, you can add that data next to the observation here and start profiling the segments. And that can be done through pivot tables. And you can watch the video on pivot tables on how to do that. So that was how to do cluster analysis using k-means clustering in Excel stat. Um, hope it was clear for you. And for other videos, please visit our website, dmanalytics.org.